Hello and welcome to a brief guide on an effective build and playstyle for Sparrow. Sparrow is a ranged carry that excels at dishing out large quantities of basic damage at an accelerated rate if farmed and built properly. There are really only 7 cards you will use in this build so the other 5 are situational and can be used however you deem fit. You'll start with an agility pip and buy Cull the Weak to help you with last hits. You'll be getting 5 bonus gold on last hits with your first agility gem while ideally freezing your lane and farming as safely as possible. In this particular situation, Countess was surprisingly aggressive and she actually ended up giving us a nice early kill to help us out with our farm. It was very generous of her. Now, in regards to abilities, I didn't really run with the skill order I recommend this game. Normally leveling up Sparrow's piercing shot and relentless abilities is ideal Piercing Shot is an excellent tool to harass in B42, given that everyone's ability armor is extremely low at the start of the game. Hail of Arrows is easy to escape and is only useful, in my opinion, for large team fights that will break out later. Uh, but you want to focus on two additional pips of agility and then purchase two pips of intellect for your next item, Blitz Rush. And here we back, and I had enough farm to purchase both Blitz Rush and Nitro Boost. These two items give Sparrow the elusiveness she lacks while you safely farm your way to dominating late game. Continue to farm, taking raptors when they're up, freezing your lane, rotating to close fights. Here is an example of using Blitz Rush to close the gap and secure a kill. Getting a kill resets the cooldown of Blitz Rush at any point of it being on cooldown. Here I enjoy the cooldown a little too much and use it right after I get a kill, which was a waste of a cooldown that could have saved me had there been a gank in our lane. Once you've reached four agility pips, back and sell Call the Weak and replace it with your armor pin card, Guard Piercer, and later selling Nitro Boost when you have enough to purchase Heavy Hitter. Now you'll be dealing a large sum of damage and become more of a threat. Be sure to look for picks with your team and rotate the fights quickly to offer aid. The importance of farming has gone through the roof from V41 to V42. Carries feel weak because they are early game. This is a big change we're having to adjust towards, but in my opinion makes carries feel the way that they should. Weak and in need of being backpacked early game, and if taken care of and farmed efficiently, can be turned into a deadly force that becomes hard to deal with. Your last item will be Shatter Golem, giving you a 20% crit chance to deal 100% increased basic damage. Once you've reached your last agility gem, Relentless Pursuit, you're ready to dominate the battlefield. No one will be able to outrun you. There's no need to worry about bunny hopping to secure kills. Just use your experience with Greystone and hold down that movement key and keep firing. Remember to use Blitz Rush to close gaps and don't be a fool like me and use it after you get a kill just for fun. Always save it, just in case you need to get out of a hairy situation that could take you by surprise. This build is all about being on the move and an elusive target to hit. You're not receiving a movement penalty while attacking, so keep your finger on the trigger and use Blitz Rush to create some distance or close the gap. You become a very difficult target to catch, so prepare to break some ankles. I'm going to wrap this video up by explaining which gems I use with a brief explanation as to why. Tier 1 Vitality Gem, healing towers for early sustain in case you're having a rough time in the offlane. Tier 1 Agility Gem, improved killing blows to help with your farm. Tier 2 Agility Gem, Ruthless for that little bit of extra damage. Tier 3 Agility Gem, Lifesteal to keep you in the battlefield. Tier 4 Agility Gem, Piercing Basic to break through those high basic armor numbers. And Tier 5 Agility Gem, Relentless Pursuit to stay on those runner's tails and also to move quickly in a fight, making you a harder target to control. A link to the build will be in the description section below. Please feel free to leave your questions, comments, or concerns below and support the channel by subscribing and checking out my stream on Twitch Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. This video is brought to you by the community of followers and subscribers that continue to keep the dream alive and by OPC, where you can purchase the most comfortable chair and supportive gaming chair out there at a discounted price with the discount code CMS. Thank you guys for watching.